Hey, it's Chris, that guy CD, back to you with another video. Um, this is going to be another five minute flashback, and today's five minute flashback is going to be Young Justice. So, the plot of Young Justice the sidekicks within the DC Universe decide that they're tired of being sidekicks and end up forming their own superhero team. This team consists of Robin, Kid Flash, Aqualad, Superboy, Miss Martian, and Artemis. So the show just follows their adventures, battling various supervillains and responding to threats that will destroy the world. Young Justice is famous because it was canceled on Cartoon Network, and Netflix has said that they're gonna that they want to bring it back if enough people watch it on that platform. So if you're interested in Young Justice at all, please go check it out on Netflix. All right, so um, Young Justice kind of does what a lot of superhero shows do. It follows a monster of the week kind of plot so pretty much every episode there or every few episodes there's a different villain or a different bad guy but what sets Young Justice apart from uh, some older uh, DC animated shows like uh, Justice League that I reviewed a couple weeks ago is that the villains are all kind of working together in this show and they end up forming the Legion of Doom so while Young Justice is very episodic there's an, there's a conspiracy of villains working together in the background and Throughout the episodes, the villains are getting closer and closer to their goals, even though the good guys think that they're winning. So it's a situation where good guys win the battle, but really the bad guys are winning the war. Um, I will say that, you know, just, even though it's very episodic, since there is a long-form plot, there's a good investment in watching the series straight through as opposed to just watching a couple episodes. So if you're if you're looking for a superhero show that kind of has a long plot going through two seasons, Young Justice may be good for you. What I like about the show that the show has good mysteries. Um, there's always something else to think about at the end of the episodes. There are a lot of good cliffhangers and mysteries. The action's pretty good. Well, I don't think the animation's amazing. A lot of the action scenes are well done, and there's a lot of combos between the different sidekicks. I also like how it focuses on the sidekicks because in a lot of animated shows, they nearly don't get as much focus as the main big members of the Justice League. If you are a fan of shows like Teen Titans growing up, I think this will this show will kind of scratch that that itch that that need for like a younger a show with like younger heroes. So I'm um, transitioning the bad. While there are many many different superheroes and supervillains that show up in the show that are great to see, the Justice League themselves. They don't really do anything. Now you could argue that, hey, it's not their show, but if you're looking for awesome Batman moments, awesome Superman, Wonder Woman, etc., you're, you're not going to get that in Young Justice. Young Justice really is about the sidekicks, the Justice League. While they they show up, they're mostly in the background, and they really don't do a lot. Another thing that's really strange is that in between the Season 1 and Season 2, many of the Season 1 characters leave the team, and new characters like Blue Beetle, Beast Boy, and Impulse show up. So, if you were like me and you were kind of really invested in a lot of the characters in Season 1, you may be disappointed with Season 2 in that a lot of those Season 1 characters are pushed to the background. Season 2 kind of deals with a newer generation of heroes. And like I said before, the animation isn't amazing. I, I actually prefer the animation of, like, say, like the older Justice League shows and whatnot, but it's nothing terrible. And finally, since it was canceled, the show does end on a cliffhanger. So if you end up watching the show and really liking it, a negative part is that when it ends, you'll kind of have this unfinished feeling, which is why I hope that Young Justice gets brought back in some form. Even like a comic, I think I, and I hope, I believe other people would enjoy as well. Action's very good. The characters are interesting. Aqualad and Robin are cool. Miss Martian and Kid Flash are funny. And the plot is really good. There's always something to think about. There's always cool things going on in the background of an episode besides the main threat. So there's enough investment to keep you watching because there's always another mystery to kind of be found, even during season finales. I'd recommend it if you like superheroes and you enjoy animated shows with a decent plot. So I'm going to go ahead and give Young Justice seven and a half Superboy Grumpy Faces out of ten. Um, it's a pretty good show. It's not perfect. I think it was canceled too soon. But if you need something to kind of scratch that superhero itch before a lot of the big CW shows and like Marvel Netflix shows and whatnot start coming out this fall, I think Young Justice may do it for you. So yeah, that's been a five minute flashback. Um, if you like this video, please like the video and subscribe and also check out my Facebook page. And I will be back next week with another video. Until then, peace.